lovely big established aloes which get planted full size the roots they live with very little water they're a sacred plant to the Zulu people they're used in I was just chatting to the horticulturist landscape now about these he's doing the whole garden all indigenous and there's a lovely specimen there so it's all going to look really good once it's all established I was having a good chat to Wayne about Montana injecting seeds for crops and about the new world order etc but I don't want to bring that into these videos but you guys who do watch my videos you are very much aware of my videos on that topic and Wayne's very much clued up with being a horticulturist with what's happening in the world okay so I'll stop this now and get back down to the house we're working on right as you can see unplanted floor although very red this is outside red from the sand okay a dark a light and a mid that's three colors okay what is then done they are blended in a cross hatch motion like that and one just keeps blending and cross hatching over and over and over again and adding a little bit of light a little bit of dark whatever you want all the time if you want to do that do that blend that in and one will continue doing that until you end up with your surface like that and then I'll show when I blend the dark in here let me just do some now see around the house okay and the rocks at the entrance I want to blend the dark in the corners to give it a 3d effect so this I do and then I just blend it in lightly like that with a bit of light it in until it blends and becomes one with the surface and when I finish doing this I shall take footage of it varnished so it's shining I'm now just closing gaps places that I've left mind the gap Mind the gap, please. The next stop is Pennington Station. Holy. <laughs> Croydon. Holy's where you live. I said right near Holy. Eh? I stayed near Rygate. I said in Rygate, near Holy. Varnished, non varnished, and now working the color into it. We mix one tone, a darker tone, and then we have a very, very, very dark gray. And by cross hatching and working the brush, we end up with that. Okay, I'm just this is this is a hundred grit sand paper, I'm just getting it. We need water paper which we don't have so I'm just getting the sandpaper to soften okay okay on this hard cement floor on this charmingly dusty cement floor I'll show Makoba mixing what are what and Makoba is stirring yeah. up the the the, the color hardener and resin which is a floor sealer. I don't even have to see him doing it. I can smell it. It's happening. Ugh, those fumes are hectic. Okay. I think that I am going to wet it. Do you know why? Why? 
gonna be dusty now. Yeah. I'm gonna clean it. Okay. Okay, so I've got a rough sandpaper. To become a very smooth sandpaper. For sandpapering our bathroom floor. <laughs> and now you're gonna wet it. I'm gonna wash it. Okay. Okay. Do you want to just show our floors that look very chalky? They've been, they've been uh, colour washed in different tones. Just follow me down the passage. But the varnish is going to bring up... Warwick getting dirty with Makoba. Getting dirty? Yep. Uh, Rolling on. Getting goofed. Come. Oof. You've got five minutes to do this, then we've got to go. So come on, boys. No. It's my worst. It's like bloody boss sticking the floor. It's like carbonated chloride. It's like bloody isocyanates. All those lovely toxins for your liver and your brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Okay. It is raining today. Everything's wet and cold. In fact, it's FF, Jen. Freezing. <laughs> you said the first word I didn't, and you're on film, babe. Here we are at the local, one of the local little coffee shops. This makes a really nice change from the environment where we've been working. And it's chilly, so we have a hot chocolate. There's a lovely koi pond below. It's quite green. They all came up. They thought I was going to feed them. They obviously saw me from the bottom. They all collected in a group. See you guys, in South Africa we have a little bit of everything, huh? So you people in, in England then, yeah? We have a lot, quite a little bit of England then climatically and geographically and, and all that sort of thing too. And you people in the States as well, you think we live in the deepest, darkest of Africa. No, we have a little bit of everything, trust me. Don't think South Africa's some little backwater place. It's, it's quite a strange country. I'm off to have my cup of tea, my hot chocolate. What are you having, Jen? Kitty cat wants to catch the fish. The fish jumped just now and the cat lurched for it with its paw. Yes, on fire in the coffee shop. <laughs>